YouTube, what's going on? It's Juan Gotti here. We got another Washington football team video. And in today's video, I'm here to go over who is Martin Mayu, the new hire that we just made. I wanted to do all the research so you guys don't have to. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. But before we do, make sure you guys go down below, leave a like on this video, subscribe if you're new, and turn on post notifications so you get notified when I upload a video about the NFL. In this case, I watched the football team. And let's get straight into today's video. Martin Rollins Mayu, born October 8, 1965, is an American football executive for the San Francisco 49ers. Now he's with us. We don't know what his role is going to be with us, but now he's with the Washington football team. Mayu was drafted by the Buffalo Bills in the 10th round of the 1988 NFL Draft and later played for the Washington Redskins and Tampa Bay Buccaneers before retiring following the 1996 season. Mayu won a Super Bowl with Washington. So there you have it. Martin Mayu actually won a Super Bowl with the Washington Redskins in 1991. And we're arguably one of the best teams in NFL history. We're competing with the Chicago Bears and the 70 Steelers. But obviously, I'm young and I wasn't able to watch those Redskins. So I want you guys to tell me what did Martin May used to do back in the day. Obviously, I know he played cornerback because it told me. But like, what was he? What was his key role a part of that 1991 season? I know you guys could tell me for all the people that actually watched those Super Bowls. But that's good, man. He's returning back home, or at least kinda, because he's not the Redskins no more to watch the football team. But we all know we're still really the Redskins, but nevertheless, he's returning back to his former team that he played for as a player, so that's good, and he got him a Super Bowl ring with the Redskins. So to kick off his career as an executive, he started it with the Detroit Lions. From 2001 to 2003, he was a senior director of football administrations. Then from 2004 to 2008, the Detroit Lions promoted him to become the senior vice president of assistant general manager. Then from 2008 to 2015, he was a general manager for the Detroit Lions. Then he went to the New York Giants to become a director of football operations. And now from 2019 and the present, he was a vice president of player personnel for the San Francisco 49 and then from 2019 to present, he was the San Francisco 49ers Vice President of Player Personnel. And now he's with the Washington football team. So after reading off his resume, this man has a ton of experience as a player and as an executive. And that is what Ron Rivera wanted. And with him and Marty Herney, they got to combine 60 years of NFL experience. And that's all Ron Rivera wanted. That is the reason why Kyle Smith wasn't elected to be general manager or even the position that Martin Mayhew is going to be. And that's still to be determined. But at least we know. We got some veterans in the front office, and that's what we need, honestly. So let's go over some of his notable draft picks. Javon Kinlaw, Nick Bosa, Debo Samuel, Mike McGlinchey, Fred Warner, Solomon Thomas, Ruben Foster, George Kittle, Quandre Diggs, Eric Ebron, Ezekiel Anta, Darius Slay, Larry Wolford, Ndamukong Sue, Matthew Stafford, Cliff Averill. Those are really the notable names, but obviously he made some picks like C.J. Beathard, Riley Reef. He made some other moves, but those are really the notable moves. So honestly, as you guys can see, he has some eye for talent from the first three rounds, or more specifically, the first round, really. And like my boy Rico from Street Score said, in a good world, in a smart world, and in a dream world, we would have Martin Mayu run the first three. I'm thinking first two, but first three rounds, and then letting Kyle Smith run it all from there. That's the smart thing that the Washington football team should do if they really want to have a successful draft, because this guy doesn't draft well typically so in the perfect world like my boy Rico said we should have Martin Mayu draft the first couple rounds and then after that have Kyle Smith pick up the later rounds because we know Kyle Smith I for talent the later rounds are phenomenal now let's go over some of his notable signings I'm gonna go to the ones that I really know Reggie Bush Golden Tate Nate Burleson Glover Quinn Matt Prater Jason Jones Rashad Martin Eric Wright and Lance Moore so after reading that list no one really gets me excited Excited besides probably Glover Quinn, maybe. Other than that, I'm looking at the list. Reggie Bush, Golden Tate, Nate Burleson, maybe, or Golden Tate. Matt Prater, obviously one of the best field goal kickers in NFL history, obviously. But other than that, he hasn't really made a splash free agent signing. He just got meh players outside of maybe Glover Quinn, Golden Tate, and obviously Nate Burleson and Matt Prater. But other than that, I could be wrong. You know what I'm saying? I could be wrong. In my opinion, they don't really have that big of an impact. Let's go over some of these notable trades. The Lions in 2008 got a 2009 first round pick and a third round pick and a sixth round pick and the Cowboys received wide receiver Roy Williams in 2009 seventh round pick. That is a steal in my opinion. Honestly, all that for a receiver and a seventh round pick, that is a big steal. Now, Roy Williams could have been killing back in 08. 
But nonetheless, that was a big steal by Martin Mayhew. In 2010, the Lions received the 2010 first round pick and a fourth round pick, and the Vikings received the 2010 second round pick, fourth round pick, and a seventh round pick. In my opinion, that trade was kind of even. Maybe the Vikings pick was far down the board, like 26 maybe, and the Lions maybe had an early second round pick maybe. Honestly, in my opinion, that was an even trade. In 2010, the Lions received cornerback Chris Houston, the Falcons received sixth round and seventh round picks. 2015, the Lions received the D-tackle a loading nada in 2015 seventh round pick the Baltimore Ravens received the 2014 fifth round pick so once again that trade looked a little bit even outside of a little loading nada loading nada was really good for the Baltimore Ravens and then the Detroit Lions he got towards the end of his career kind of and in 2017 the 49ers received the 2017 first round pick Seahawks received the second round pick and the fourth round pick so I honestly once again it was probably the same scenario like it was earlier the first round pick was a little bit you know probably late and the Seahawks was like let me get that off my hands and they got an early second round pick and a fourth pick maybe that's what i'm thinking 2017 the 49ers received the 2017 first round pick third overall third round fourth round and 2018 third round pick the bears received 2017 first round pick so the 49ers got all of so the 49ers got all of that for one first round pick that is a lot man honestly speaking that is a really good trade for the 49ers and once again martin may you add it with a good trade in 2018 the 49ers received jimmy garoppolo and the patriots received a 2018 second round pick so now looking back at it it was probably a steal but now looking how jimmy garoppolo played he was probably the sole reason why they didn't win that super bowl last year so me personally it wasn't really a steal but at the same time you can kind of look at it as a steal because it was a second round pick you know what i mean so that's really a good pick for both sides. I guess I guess that's even now that you look how Jimmy Garoppolo played. And in 2020, the 49ers received a first round pick for DeForest Bungner. So once again, it got even and it was an even trade. Also in 2020, the 49ers received linebacker Kiko Alonso in a 2022 fifth round pick. And the Saints received linebacker K1 Alexander. Now that is the only one that I feel like they got robbed on because K1 Alexander has been really good for the 49ers. But other than that, majority of their trades were really good but as you can see as the trend as the timeline went down later in the years GMs and front offices got smarter because the trade starts to get evened out so maybe he won't have as much luck as he did back then in like the 08 09 and early 2010s but it still was good trades and I honestly like that because we know we have a history of bad trades so if we can get a guy in here that can make some good trades happen and maybe he, that would be good for us getting a guy like Matthew Stafford in here and he could try to try to finesse the Detroit Lions out of Matthew Stafford maybe be. But like I said, they'll probably want some even compensation because front offices are smarter and they got a new general manager up in there. So we'll see. I'm really excited about this hire and I'm excited to see how they run the front office. So with that being said, that was who is Martin Mayu as a player and as an executive. If you guys enjoyed this video, go down below, leave a like on this video, subscribe if you're new, and turn on post notifications. Once again, let me know how you guys feel about this hire. And as always, it's been Boy Juan Gotti. Like, comment, subscribe, help to watch the football team. I'm out. Peace.